Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. What's going on everyone and welcome to the channel where today I'm back on over at Taco Bell, this time to check out the burrito variant of their all new seven layer nacho fries. That's right, it's nacho fry goodness, good to go. Guys, feast your eyes on the seven layer nacho fries burrito. And as you can see, it looks fairly packed for what it is. The price point's a little high for what I've got here right now, but still, this is looking pretty appetizing. Let's break this one on down real fast. All right, so starting us off, obviously, to hold all of this is a warm flour tortilla. And in this case, it's gonna be filled with their nacho fries, starting off with the obvious guys. I mean, those bold Mexican spices and seasonings should be on deck with this one, but also along with it, black beans, chipotle sauce, reduced fat sour cream, nacho cheese sauce, cheddar cheese, diced tomatoes, and guacamole. And not just any guacamole, it's a new freshly made in-store version of it. And of course, that's gonna add to the overall experience with this one. But guys, overall, it looks like a huge laundry list of goodness for a fairly small-sized burrito. I gotta admit, this is a little on the tiny side for the money. Let's just see if the flavor is gonna deliver overall. This is the all-new seven-layer nacho fries burrito here at Taco Bell. Let's peep out this flavor. So like clockwork, the nacho fries are back on the menu, and also like clockwork, we've got a burrito variant featuring all the current promo toppings all wrapped inside this warm tortilla. And admittedly, guys, it looks really nice, but still a little on the small side. Still excited to get into it, though. Let's just do just that. This is the all-new seven-layer nacho fries burrito here at Taco Bell. Let's peep this out. Okay. Well, right off the break, I had the nice softness of that flour tortilla along with the obvious nacho fry goodness and a little bit of that guacamole action as well too, guys. This is actually really, really nice. The slight sizzle from the chipotle sauce on top of that. Not bad, but again, a little on the small side. You're gonna hear it all throughout this review. Let's keep going in. So with seven layers, you'd think this burrito would be pretty substantial, but unfortunately it's not. It's pretty much a taste of all of those seven ingredients or eight plus if you're keeping track with the two types of cheese. But at the same time, it is still pretty tasty, but again, very tiny for what you've got here. And naturally the fries are looking a little light as I'm only in the halfway point of this particular one. Yeah, definitely a little taste of each of the ingredients on this one with just a few of the fries naturally. So it doesn't really hold a candle to the regular seven layer nacho fries that I just reviewed recently, which you're probably seeing jumping up on your screen here right now. That was pretty substantial for $3.99 naturally. For $3.79, this is a ripoff. So naturally, I like the fact that they have this on the menu, but at the same time, it needs to be beefed up, so to speak, just a little bit to really make it seem like it's worth it for you. So let's go for another couple of bites on this one, guys. Very simple, but again, a little lackluster. Let's keep going in. Well, it looks like I'm about to lose some out the back here, but obviously you're gonna see some more of the goodness there, a little guacamole mixed in with the black beans. Not bad for what this is. Guys, side note real fast, you guys are probably gonna be watching this close to Thanksgiving or shortly thereafter. So let me just take a quick moment to wish each and every one of you a very happy Thanksgiving, and obviously with the upcoming holiday season coming along, before you know it, it's gonna be the new year, kind of crazy. So let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap this one up with the rating coming up next, but guys, very familiar on this particular one with a nice warm tortilla, but again, needing to be beefed up just a little bit. One more bite and we'll wrap this one up. Hang on. Well, here's a shot of the other half just to round this one out here. And guys, I gotta say, the flavors are still pretty tasty on this one. The light sizzle that I'm getting from that chipotle sauce, the nice fresh creaminess from that in-store made guac. I gotta say, that's a lovely combination along with the sour cream. And of course, the seasoning on the fries themselves, very, very tasty. Again, it just needs to be a little bit thicker. So when you bite into it, it's fairly decent. But at the same time, there just needs to be a little more of everything in here to justify the price point, especially when it's close to the other version. But still, the flavor is pretty tasty, and that's not a bad thing. Well, considering the size of this version of the Nacho Fries Burrito, especially when it's in the palm of my hand, as you're seeing on the screen here right now, initially it kind of felt like it had a little something to it, but again, the size is just tiny on it. So it is what it is. It's nowhere near the value of the regular version, but even still, the flavors are pretty tasty. All right, so with everything you've seen and heard up to this point, I'm gonna have to give the new seven layer nacho fries burrito here at Taco Bell just an okay seven out of 10. And it's pretty much par for the course with every burrito variant of the nacho fries. There's just not enough nacho fries in there to justify the price point. That needs to be at least $1.50 less than the regular version. Because when you consider the regular price of that tray is $3.99 and this is $3.79, for 20 cents more, you get way more food and it's way more substantial. But again, you're paying for the convenience of that being wrapped up good to go. That's pretty much it. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this particular version of the Nacho Fries Burrito here at Taco Bell. Do you think this is actually still a better value even though it's 20 cents less because it's easier to eat, more convenient to hold? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. 
And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.